Bonjour ni hao! Welcome back to the Game Boys channel. I'm Johnny. And I'm Tim. And today we're here with a Disney, Disney haul! <laughs> and <laughs> so we have so much stuff that we we're gonna do like a part one and part two. But then as I was looking, I was like, wait, we have so much stuff from Shop Disney and the parks and the Disney stores that we could just do our own video on that. Um, so this bag is actually <laughs> what we got when we went to the Disney store in Las Vegas when we were there for my birthday. If you haven't seen that shop with me, we'll link that above and below. But there really wasn't that much there. No. He was completely like checked out and not interested. But I was like, I always find stuff. <laughs> no, there wasn't a lot there, but I did find there wasn't the same like plaza, a uh, Hugo Boss outlet, so I bought a, bu a bunch of work polos to wear. So I did go shopping, and when I came back, uh, Tim was like, I think you bought stuff. Yeah. So um, I did find at the, it was a Disney outlet, so um, there's a Bruno shirt. They didn't have like any normal sizes, it was just like really, really big or really small. So I just got this one, it was $7.98 just for like a sleep shirt or lounge shirt. But it is Bruno and it says, my real gift is a towing, what? Oh, acting. <laughs> She's an actress. So like, I thought this was cute. It does feel kind of cheap, just like the way that this is printed on it, but I mean, for a sleep shirt, like, what abs. And then the next shirt I got was also a big one, but, um... Oh, I like that one. Yeah, it was cute, like, Buzz Lightyear. And I love the color. He looks kind of hunky, so I was like, jeez. So this is from um, Lightyear the movie. This was also $7.98. So... Just like loungy shirt. And then they did have like an ornament that I thought was cool. I'll let you show it. It was only $4. Oh, so. oh, oh my. <laughs> and you know the cool thing about these is that you don't even need to like hang them out. You can just set them if you wanted them as a display. And she could like be, uh, like it could be all the doors like in contact. <laughs> I wonder what Daisy's power would be. Probably talking very loudly. Flirting. <laughs> She's squawking. She's always squawking about something, that Daisy. But look, here she is in this, like, kind of, uh, I don't know what to say. It's just, it looks, it's foreign. I don't know what country this is from. But comment below if you know what this represents. But it feels like... It's Mexico, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe Mexico, because that's red one. I don't know. Comment below. But... Uh, she's, it's a very pretty 3D ornament, and like I said, it has a flat bottom so you can stay. The, uh, stand, the door and the detail in the back is really cute, and she's just standing out there one hip. Yay, fun. Yeah, and then, they didn't really have any pins. They had one, and I was like, uh, I don't know. It'll be a good trader. We don't really collect this movie, but I really like these, the, the dinner series. series. So this is, um, it was $10, so it is Bernard and Bianca, just like, before he proposes, I want to say. He proposes? They get married? I don't remember that movie. I always fall asleep There's in that two movie. of them. That was the second one. I don't think I like those. So, yeah, there, Bianca looks super cute, and it is limited edition, so like, I mean, it'll make a good trader if we don't decide. But we did get rid of all of our um, Rescuers pins, so like having one I think would be cool too. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, the movie's fine. It's not like one of my tops at all. Like, I know Tim puts it on and I always fall asleep during it, so I really don't know what happens. I get bored. I find it very slow, if I remember correctly, but I could be remembering wrong too. You never know. <laughs> all right, and then, so that was it from that trip. <laughs> Um, and then I did order a lot of stuff off of Shop Disney because they were having like their once upon a, twice upon a whatever sale. And then like they were sending me birthday coupons and then there was like other sales. So 
I have worn this a lot already because this is my favorite spirit jersey right now. But this is the like jean distressed splatter or whatever. The bleach! Oh, they just did that challenge on Project Runway. They did <laughs> the bleach on the denim. This is what this is. Oh, that's having a moment. <laughs> yeah, and we actually have the ears that match. Um, so I absolutely love this. Spirit jerseys are overpriced, but when you've got a deal, like they're totally worth it. And especially and, for us that live in the Midwest where we're like, we, it gets really cold and we can wear them like every day. Yeah, and this is one of the like nice soft ones. So this is Disney World. The back does say Walt Disney World. So I just, I love it. So now I could just leave this in my closet and stop wearing it and then putting it in here for a haul. <laughs> um, the next one is another spirit jersey that I will let John show because he never buys anything so he's just going to be sitting here. But I got this one because it was on sale. <laughs> well that's cute. Mm -hmm. Aww. It's summer and like summer's over and I haven't worn it. <laughs> Aww this is fun. I like that it's like a also kind of tie dyed like dip dyed uh, shirt and this has the Disney Landy and then there's Stitch as like a little relief little cutout. And then the back it says Disneyland Resort along with more stitch on the bottom and he's just hanging out and they did not do anything on the sleeves. This is cute. This is soft too. This one feels really nice. I like this one. <laughs> They're like some of them are so crunchy. You They're know starting to make them more all like this I want to say like because like with the $80 price tag it's like they better. But um yeah they are actually this weekend having 30% off of all the sales, and there's one that I know you would like. Actually, this one is <laughs> like $40, and then you get 30% off also. Then you said, you just told me you were going to get a second one. I was thinking about it. I'm not going to. Oh, should I look? Which is the one that you think I might like? Um, there's like a Pandora one. That's like pretty colors. Yeah, but I don't like Pandora. I know, but it doesn't say Pandora. Oh, it doesn't? Okay. Yeah. And then the last I never, you know why? Because I never got a good. This is real talk. I never got a good Animal Kingdom spirit jersey, and so I always originally wanted like that leopard one with the sequins, but they never had my size. So I never had a good Animal Kingdom spirit jersey to wear. Because like, what would you if you had to do a concept right now? What would you do? Is finding Nemo look because of like fish? I'd probably do a Nemo look, but I would like to have other options. So maybe I will look at the okay. sale. Tasha, you cannot sit there, baby. No. I oh, put, that's it. I put the bag there for you. Now she sees the bag. <laughs> Her favorite place to lie is on a Disney bag. Yeah, um... I just had to throw one away the other day. It made me so sad because I was carrying, like, heavy stuff in it. And as I was getting to the front door, because they're, like, really cheap, uh, I could see, like, it starting to, like, literally pull apart at the seams. I was like, I was holding on for dear life that all of the groceries and stuff that I was in it wouldn't just spill over. So I was, like, yeah. holding. I was like, get to the door! And then when we got here, I was like, it's, it's fine. It has served <laughs> its purpose. And I threw it away. Because I was like, I could just see it car starting to come apart. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, I'll look at that. So like, we don't this. we don't have stores around us. So like, whenever we get those bags, it's always when we're on vacation. Um, but yeah, I just bought the new Halloween spirit jersey that's orange. I thought I was. Oh, because you we you did say that unlike last year, you liked this year's better. Yeah, and um, I didn't. I don't know. We're in one box swap for um, Halloween, and I don't like to chance like, oh, what if someone buys me? And it's like most of the time they're probably not going to, so it's like I would rather just buy it myself now and wear it in September and October. Yeah. So, and then if you do, and I got my yeah. my twenty percent off birthday coupon or whatever I used on it. So. Oh. Wow. All right. The last clothing item I have. That's cute. It's just something that was on sale. It was just kind of basic, but I was like. I don't have any, like, big Mickey sweatshirts. No, it's nice to have one. I did a Mickey look at Disneyland once. It was cute. Well, the parks are both too hot to ever wear sweatshirts, but, like, this is the Disney World one. And, I mean, there's really nothing, like, too special about it. It's just a gray sweatshirt. Um, is it soft on the inside? It's not for the Disney 100 or anything. It doesn't have a price on it. Um, it's not really that soft. Oh. So I did get a huge size because I like to lounge around. 
think it's fine. It's like not. Oh, it's not. No, it's not it's like the super like, soft. It's one. lightweight. Yeah, it's a lightweight sweatshirt. Yeah. So yeah, that was amazing. I'm so excited I can finally use some of these items now. Um, <laughs> this is what we were looking for. So we did actually do. I took everything Halloween-y out of all of our hauls. A lot of it was Shop Disney. Um, if you've missed that Halloween haul, I'll link it above and below. But we were looking for these blind box pins. Can we open these? Yeah. Okay. Yay! Pin unboxing. You get to do something in this video. Because as Tim said, I didn't shop it. I shop. Here's the deal. I yeah. shop. I just don't show. I just bought like four new, like two... Three pairs of shorts, a pair of pants, yeah, and like those two aren't shirts. Disney related. I know, but no I still buy clothing. Cares about your, like Lululemon shorts. <laughs> Maybe they have liners. All right, so here, are <laughs> uh, here are the um, Haunted Mansion pins. They're kind of in this like neon black light like aesthetic. This is very Booty You Parade. We just watched the new debut of it. We love them doing their little Booty You dance. And then here are all the options that are far too small for me to figure out and see who all of these people are, but they're all related to the Haunted Mansion. Um, I also, no, but I also buy, like, a lot of, like, other home goods stuff. Like, I just have a whole thing in my Amazon phone of, like, fun products that I saw BuzzFeed say I should buy, and I thought it would be fun to do, like, a video of, like, buying them and then seeing if I like them. <laughs> Comment below if that's something you'd like to see, because apparently, I, because I buy other stuff sometimes. All right, we're gonna open these. Wait, so I really want Constance or the Hitchhiking Ghost. Yeah, I want like all of them that aren't just the heads. Yeah. So like, yeah. All right. Just like the ones that aren't green, basically. What? I won't say it. Why? I don't green? think these are um, glow in the dark. They don't say on the box. Watch, well, we're gonna get like both heads. <laughs> How's your head? Um, head. Uh, is it at least a good one. I don't know who this is. Alright, and then mine. Come on, someone other than head. I was gonna do a short with this, but I'm too lazy. Oh no! Another head. Ew. So these are like the guys that sing at the end of the ride. The Grim 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 Wait! No, oh, I thought it was the same one. <laughs> Happy hearts materialize. Grim, grim, and growth come out to socialize. So here is guy with bowler and angry guy. Comment below if you know if they have names. I really wish that on these pins they would actually like put their names like Earl or Steve so that we would know who they are. And then something I just noticed on the back which is, Tim just started talking about recently, which is really cool, that all of the new pins have little rhinestones in the back, so you can tell they're not scrappers, and like they actually like glitter a little bit, or sparkle. Come on, rhinestones. Mm -hmm. Did you stone those pins? <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if we want to keep I No, we will be trading or selling I this. got one of, um, one box because, obviously to make free shipping or whatever, but I was testing them because we needed, or not needed, but I was like, oh, maybe these will be fun to do like during Halloween time, but I don't love, so. I don't. If you guys have any like Constance or like the dancing one or the other the, the one. The ghosts. I don't um, know why the ghosts just, I did the choreography <laughs> to Backstreet's Back though. I don't <laughs> Isn't that thriller? No, Backstreet, no, not, not Backstreet's Back, everybody, rock your body, ba Backstreet's Back, alright, da, 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 da. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. Hopefully they come out with better, um, Halloween pins. Well, no, we do have the new pumpkin series, which I like. This thing? I don't know why I bought this. I'm probably gonna get rid of it. I was like, really, really into, so there's a Tinkerbell... Funko Pop, where she's in a lantern, and I was like, oh, I like that. I couldn't find it. I was like, oh, this is kind of like similar. I'm like, oh, let's just get it. Because I'm like, we love putting things in our living room that light up and do things. But then like when I just got this, I'm like, oh, I don't really like it. You know what's so funny? It's... This is the second thing you bought from this like series of like with that logo like that. You, that's the Sleeping Beauty Cat house that you bought personally. Like no, it's different. Oh, it, it is. Looks it looks similar. It's Sorry. not the um, 
animator. Oh, that's what that logo looked like. You're right. I, have I mean, it's cute. So this is a Tinkerbell lantern, but it like does things. So like it like lights up. But I thought it would just light up and it literally flickers. Oh, there's two options. Seriously? I pulled the thing out and it drained the battery? Or did you leave it on by accident? No. Do you want me to change it out so you can yeah. see it? Alright, after all that, it turns out I probably didn't even need to change the battery, <laughs> but here we are. So confusing! I didn't know there was like a press button. It's like, cause normally like I'm thinking with ornaments maybe when they have the things on the bottom that like, you just like do it. But they're brand new batteries now. Cause it's like, yeah. So. <laughs> I going. did not know what that was going to do. I mean, it's fun. I it's just, I just wish it would just light up and not flicker, but I got her wings flicker because like of the pixie dust. So there is, um, Tinkerbell in this really beautiful like lantern thingy. I mean this would be cool if like we had a I don't know like outdoor patio or something. Oh actually Tim I could put that on our patio on that little stoop on the, next to the sofa that <laughs> little chair. Okay you guys ready? It's a lot. It is a lot. <laughs> so it's like her the um Twinkling makes it look like it's her wings, which is actually really cool, honestly. Uh, but you know it's what I don't really need? Bright. The chasing lights on the bottom. I mean, yeah, that's that's I what I think. I makes didn't even it notice cheap. that. Like the fair, the twinkling of her like. No, that doesn't bother me. Of like the thing looks like because I mean, turn it around right now. If you turn it around and don't show her, it just looks like a candle, and that's pretty. Yeah. But it's the fl it's the chaser lights on the bottom that to me like make it feel carnival-y. <laughs> Carnival. I like it. Oh, you're keeping it now? Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna think about it. What? Oh, she. I was singing. She didn't like when I started singing. <laughs> so here's. I think we've talked about this on the channel. Tati hates me singing. Any any remote sounds that like notes. She gets very angry. Most so, things do. So I apologize that I sang Carnival de Real. Uh oh. Carnival. All right, and then um, you can open that. This is exciting. I love this. Oh! Oh, this is gonna have to go on our Disney tree behind us. Oh my god! Okay, so do we have him now in every iteration of him? Yeah. We got him as the food, the actual food. We got the big squishmallow. We got the no, small squishmallow. They're not squishmallows, or, they're munchling. Munchling. We got the small <laughs> munchling. We got the munchling, the big, the big munchling, and we got the munchling pin. And now we have the Munchling ornament. Mm -hmm. There's like some stupid like water bottle or something, but I don't like I don't need that. This is even cuter than the real Munchling. I didn't know his hands were like that. Mm -hmm. And he's glittery. Oh my gosh. So take a bite out of chocolatey Baymax. Baymax is a marshmallow, much like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man that wants you to put him in his mouth and eat him. His little glittery body looks like a snowman. I love the detail of like the kind of gingerbready like details on his body, but what's so cute is his little cheeksies and he has chocolate dripping out and he's just the perfect s'more to just gobble, 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 gobble. Oh, yay! Oh my gosh! Okay, so Tim, now we have two ornaments now. And we have more, because I ordered more ornaments. Oh my gosh, Tim, this is so exciting. Um, okay, so... We don't have one munchling. We don't have three munchlings. We don't have five munchlings. I think we destroyed some boxes, but we have ten munchlings! Which... We can't wait. So um, this video is already posted. So if you haven't seen it, it's above and below. But these are the classic couplings versions, which are super, super adorable. So you have like Mickey goes with Minnie and then um, the Aristocats and then Baymax and Mochi. Hello. These are my new shorts, see? Do you like my new shorts? New shorts. <laughs> so, speaking of Baymax, I didn't get one Baymax. 
I got two Baymax. Do you want to talk about why this is important and why you got two? So, so for if, context, if otherwise guys, it just looks crazy. If you guys don't know what this is, so these are called um, cuddles. Cuddlies. Cuddlies. Gosh, these names for thick. Oh my gosh, he's, I missed him. Me too. So these are the perfect um, size for cuddling. So Hence like, the name. We both um, sleep with one at night. So like it kind of is a sec third pillow for us. Um, I had Baymax originally and then like his head started getting like so deflated and like not misshapen. It just wasn't it. So now I currently sleep with Pooh. But wait, I would like to add an asterisk to this. Before you got Pooh, you tried Lotso. Lotso. Lotso now lives at my New York residence so that when I sleep there, there is a cuddles because cuddlies. I was cuddlies <laughs> because I was cuddlies less because Tim did not like how his like butt or bottom felt. And so then he switched to Pooh. I have been with Stitch the same stitch since the beginning. I have, have a spare though. I do have a spare in the closet because I'm worried that someday he will happen to Baymax. But I've actually on that stitch had to literally like sew him up a few times because he's like tried to come You had a what? Stitch stitch up? That's funny. Stitch up. Yes, I stitch fix stitch. <laughs> but so Tim has not, so he has Pooh right now, but Pooh's also starting to look a little sad. You two must be, I like, squeeze them so much more than me. Well, I use them more. Oh Trap. That's actually you're, true. You're like ha here half you're the time. You're traveling. So, so I'm very happy that Tim has another baby. Yeah, mask. he actually like isn't as like sturdy as Pooh. He's like very like. Well, that's why he like marshmallowy. He, that's why like his head did that. But like, oh my god, I'm so excited. Yeah, so. These haven't been on Shop Disney, the Baymax, and like he was sold out in the parks for a long time. So when I saw him on Shop Disney, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get two, like definitely need a spare, and then like eventually I will kick Pooh to the curb and have my favorite character, Baymax, but look how cute he is. There's his face. He even has like the little like robot thing here that you press, the chip thing. You have his like cute little side colors, and his legs. I just... He's so cute and cuddly. <laughs> because when normally he's on the bed, I will sit there and move his little head down so you can see his little legs, and I'll be like, <laughs> I'll like animate him, I'll be like, or I'll like, I'll like make him like run a Tati, and I'll be like, hairy baby. <laughs> then Tati gets very scary when like this comes at him. Harry baby. <laughs> Harry baby. I'm so excited to have him. Oh, that's awesome. Purchase. Oh my god, I just found another spare jersey. <laughs> so this one has been on sale like forever. I think I only got this one for like maybe like $29 with all the sales. But I mean it's interesting, but like it's kind of cute. So I was like, I like it. What so it it's say? very, it's very cartoony. It no, says but what is it? Mickey say? Mouse sound cartoons. No, but what does the front say? I don't know. It says something on it. It has letters. Move. Wait, what? Town. Mickey's in town. Ma the best mouse in town. Oh. So I like it. It's, it's like, cute. Yeah. It's like dot matrixy, very like Warholy. And it's very like, like subtle. Yeah. I like like the original Mickey there. I just love like black and white stuff, so I just thought it was cool and like it was such a good deal. So it's funny, this one is actually, I mean it, you probably won't, but if you like it and want a twin, this one is currently $40 and then you get 30% off of it. After this video I'll go look. <laughs> we'll see if I buy anything. Subscribe to stay notified if I end up shopping. <laughs> and then, um, we have another ornament. Oh! Quantity one. There's no, oh, okay. So there's a thing inside and there's a, I like the way that they do that now. Yeah. I hate styrofoam. No, I hate it. <gasps> oh my gosh! That's fun! I didn't see this one yet. No. 
Uh, it looks like it was like checked. I've never, is this a new, did, yeah, are they doing all new. of them? Oh, these are cute. It's so weird to see him without his hat though. Because that is his hat. I know, that's so creepy. Well, today, look at this. What do we think about this little hat on me? Mm, mm, mm. Oh. Uh, but this is the good doctor facilier. He's not a good doctor. <laughs> He's a doctor and his is his hat. But what's so cool is it looks like a little like house. So it's very, who's that old woman who lived in a shoe? Wasn't that, it's not a nursery. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. Is it like a nursery rhyme? Comment below. But like something about shoes. She lived in a shoe. There wasn't a mother Hubbard. I don't know. But anyways, what's fun about this is it kind of like a little mini dollhouse or like a little house because look, Dr. Facile took his little skull and it's like asymmetrical dry and like it's popping out of it and what I love is that you can see the little creases from where the skull door is and his long arm. He always has like the longest fingers and like bot. He's so lanky and tall but love this. But yeah, look, without his hat on which you normally have, it's so interesting to see him in like this like pompadour He's that he ha has rocking that like normally covered by a Hat. You never see his hair. <laughs> I thought that was cool. Because they put so many ornaments on it, and I was like, I don't want to get them all, but like, I want to get some that I think might sell out because they're new unique. We did that last year. I think you and I bought like three that we thought were going to sell out. Yeah. And guess what? They did! Mm -hmm. And then I got a pin. I thought it was a cool um, two piece set of Roz and Sully. Oh! That's cute. Cute. They don't have, I've never seen Roz in this color. They always put her in the red one. Yeah. So like I love, I love me a two piece pin moment because this was only like, like the price of a normal one pin. And then um, what's even cuter is Sully's holding a picture he drew of, or um, that Bo Boo drew of them two together. Tim and I just redid our monsters board so we, now there's room for them. Yay! So I'm just going to give you all the ornaments. Oh, oh, there's enough. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I was tempted to buy more, but I was like, I need to just reel it in. Well, here's the deal. I may buy one when I go shopping later tonight. Oh. Uh, oh my gosh. What is with, is this, is the whole concept of this year's ornaments like doors? <laughs> and like, is that like, is that what all of them have in common? Is that like this year's concept? So these are two of my favorites. And I was like, you don't see um, Jack and Guck's ghosts a lot. It's like outside of like a slipper kind of thing. Oh, and that's so cute. You don't even need to. And it could even be like a Halloween. Halloween. Like that's suit. Like, oh, that's just such a cute. I do. Okay. Look, see again with the doors, right? Look, so here's a pumpkin. And you can see the beautiful detail on like the ivy wheels and all of that. And then when you turn it around, out of the pumpkin door comes Jacques and Gus, and you even have the details of the ivy there. You have, uh, there's no windows in this carriage, but you can see more of the wheels, and there's no footman, but you can just imagine this like tooling along. But yeah, it would just sit flat right there. Such a cute little delicate piece. Oh, these are good choices, Tim. <laughs> okay, now comes the fun game. Of there that. was, of course, tons of princess ones, but I loved them, but I was like, eh. It did not spark I don't, joy. No, it did, but I was like, we're in box swaps. Gotta reel it in. There's like tons of Hocus Pocus ones and like Haunted Mansion. Don't look at these yet, I'm gonna be a surprise. Okay. So uh, the first pin I got was. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> what, what does that say? Summer. Oh, and summer! Oh, so yay! It's Luca. It's a limited release pin that was on Shop Disney. And this was like on sale, sale. And then, like, of course, with my discount on top of it, I thought it was just so cute. Because Luca's one of our favorite movies. And I just showed off our Luca pins on our my Instagram. So if you're not following us on Instagram, check out our social handles and be sure to check out the highlight reel of pin boards because I just posted our Luca pins. Blue. <gasps> oh! Wally is! A Wally 15. <laughs> and it glows in the dark so hard. I saw someone's video and it was like crazy glowy. Oh yay! And I just showed that Wally board. 
Oh, Eve. Okay, okay, now you can see why it's Wally is. I thought it was like a concept <laughs> pin line. <Yeah>. So, <laughs> on the top it says Wally 15 or Wally is. And then there is this beautiful pin of them in the moon. He's offering Eve the plant. She's giggling like the little tease she is. All right, let's charge this on like the ring light and see if this will do anything. Oh, it might. Oh wow! Right? Oh my gosh! Look at their little silhouettes. That's so good. That's so cute. Oh my gosh! Normally we use the um black light or the black yeah the black light flashlight to charge glow in the dark pins, but the ring light did well. Come on, pin. Oh, that's so cute. It's even really glowing still. Aww. And then this next pin is a pin that I've seen. Thank you. Good finds. I've seen on the website for like maybe a year, and I was like, eh, I'm gonna wait till it goes on sale. It finally hit, like, below $5, and I was like, I have to. Because we love it. I mean, oh! I don't think we have it. No, no. we don't. But it's cute. It's... Why, why, why would, I would have bought that much earlier than $5. Because I thought it was smaller. <laughs> But it's so cute, it says, we don't talk about Bruno. And then there's Bruno, and then there's all the rats on there. This is a good size. I thought it was gonna be one of those like, very small princess placard pins. Oh, yay. <laughs> it's cute. And then the last one, um, you're not gonna like be too excited, but there was three different versions, and I thought this was like, more of our vibe with most of the characters in it. It's okay. It's like all the music people. Oh! Okay, I do like that. I just wish it wasn't that art of animation, like blurry style. Like you can't read anybody. Yeah, it's but it's very cute. Small. It's cute because it has in Maribel. Yep, and Tiana. it has Stitch. Wait, where's Tiana? She's in her like um, white dress, the like restaurant white dress. Where? There. Wait, where? Oh, she's on the other one. Oh, I because all I saw was Elsa and a hippo, and I was like, none of those are. Yeah, she's on the other. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I know what my vision is getting old in my old age, but I do. Okay, when you said it was music, that like totally changed it. It kind of reminds me of my Festival of the Arts pin that I ever got that celebrated the arts. But you have the Disney 100 logo uh, and we, uh, and in the purple right there, and then there's Conductor Mickey, and then you can see a little tiny stitch there. Elsa, Miguel, Hippo, Bear. Uh, May May and uh, Maribel. May May. We could cut her. Right? She's not musical. No! Well, no, she plays the flute. Oh. But wait, what does Elsa play beside. Elsa doesn't play an instrument. She sings. I mean, they all sing. No, well, they don't. Every princess sings. No, they don't. Elsa. Merida doesn't. Well, Merida doesn't do much. <laughs> What's her name doesn't sing either. Wait, it, wait, category is princesses that don't Raya. sing? Raya. Eh. Okay, fine. I was thinking of like original princesses, because they all sing. Al, Al, even Alice sings. And she's not a real princess. Mulan doesn't sing, does she? Yes, she does. What, what does she sing? sing? Oh, you're right, she does sing that. Only part of that song I remember. Yeah, alright, so we have like probably an hour haul to film after this, so we're gonna get going, but... Let us know um, what some of your favorite items are. Give us a big thumbs up. Yes, and as I said earlier, if you're not a subscriber, we'd love for you to consider hitting that subscribe button to be notified of our future videos. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for joining us, laughing with us. We can't wait to see you in our next video. Take care and be well. Bye. Bye.